Domestic violence can be defined as a pattern of abusive behavior in any relationship used by one partner to gain or maintain power and control relationship that is over another intimate partner. One in four women will experience domestic violence during her lifetime. Women experience more than four million physical assaults and rapes because of their partners. Elizabeth Hostler, domestic violence survivor. I had started when my first son was born, about 27 years ago. I have three children. I used to run into their beds. I would think that he would not hit me in front of them, but he would chase me down and drag me out of their beds or beat me right in front of them. I got kicked in the face with boots on him and my bone came swollen here, and this was all shifted. I looked like the elephant woman, and he wanted to leave because he felt so guilty, and I begged him to stay because I didn't know how I was going to pay my bills or do anything. About half of all female victims of intimate violence report an injury of some type, and about 20% of them seek medical assistance. Milagros Day Worldwide was founded by Don Diaz, a domestic violence survivor. People all around the world share Don's dream, which is to move on from a violent experience and to make the most out of their lives. My name is Don Diaz and I'm the founder of Milagros Day Worldwide. We're a nonprofit organization that provides leadership and mentorship to survivors of domestic violence or anyone who has experienced abuse as a child or as an adult. I grew up in a very abusive household. As a child, I witnessed my mom being brutally abused. And so that, you know, as, as a child being exposed to that, that is abuse also. The Transformation Academy, it's really to shift the victim paradigm and, and these women are leaders, you know. These are women that have already done a lot of work in their spirituality, in their personal growth. So it's really to create ambassadors that are going to spread the message of shifting the victim paradigm and of becoming leaders and of taking your traumas and turning them into treasures. And so these women are gonna be the ones for the next three months that are going to start passing out the word and you know the message of Milagros Day so that by Mother's Day 2014 we can have a thousand people walking over the Brooklyn Bridge to turn abuse into success. My abuse started when I was about 23, 24 years old. It went on for years. I don't know exactly how long um, because it was with different people. It started with one, and then it continued in the next relationship. Know that it's not okay for verbal abuse. It's not okay for someone to put their hands on you. It's not okay for somebody to talk down on you. It's not okay to take it. It's not okay to accept it. Um, my advice is if you see those signs, your life is worth a lot not only to yourself, but to family members and those who love you. So you have to respect yourself and respect the love that you have. And if the person does that to you, then they don't have the respect, and that's not what you want. And especially if you have children, because if your children see this, if you allow it in front of them, you have to realize that when they grow up, they will think that that's the norm, and they will either accept it for themselves or they will do it to somebody else, and that's not fair. I've learned to have more respect for myself. I attended um, Dawn's bootleg program, which made me connect with what was wrong and what I felt was wrong to realize it wasn't my fault. It was wrong for me to accept it and that I shouldn't accept anything like that. And uh, with that, it made me feel like I had more self-confidence. I was able to be in control of my life. And with that, I was able to stand on my own two feet and uh, not allow it to happen no more. Some of the things family members, friends, or just ordinary strangers can do to help women is stand up and say something. We cannot let these things go unheard or unseen. If this happens, most likely this problem will never be resolved. 
as the new generation, high school students and college students are encouraged to spread the word and try to eliminate this problem. You have to take that step to know what's different. If you don't take that step and walk away, you'll never know. The right person for you is out there. And you made the wrong choice to go with this person and stay with someone. Seek help. Um, if, if you know what you're going through, the best thing to do is reach out to somebody who can